Hello, this is Matt Moser, a partner of Alchemy Solutions. Um, I can be found at matt underscore moser at mosersoft.com if you wish to email me. Um, what I want to do today is continue with our, um, our series on how to do a SQL connection to a database. In this particular case, we're going to focus on SQL Server. And so without continuing too much further, um, the actual um, program is located here and if you um, were able to see our prior tutorial which is up on the website that explains the uh, the file layout or I'll say the COBOL, COBOL program layout um, that will help give you more information if this isn't um, clear to you at this point um, but anyway to kind of have a high level we have what our variable um, return codes would be for SQL Server. We have our exact SQL begin and our exact SQL end for the variables that we want to use within SQL Server, including our SQL state, our SQL message, and again, any variables. Um, we have our data and number, how many records, which will be used in a future one. We have our cursor status and status open. We have the declare and then we also have our execute SQL connect to the default setup which we will cover here shortly um, and again we'll check for our connection here um, there is the way this works is we have what's called an app config and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete um, this particular app config so you can understand how it got assembled um, I'm going to remove it and I'm going to permanently delete it and then we're going to start up from scratch. Um, coming into here, um, you'll notice that you have a DB Connect to SQL Server. Um, we, Fujitsu COBOL provides a pretty cool utility called the COBOL Runtime Environment Setup Utility, which you can identify and establish um, database connections. Um, in this particular case, there's a number of different things with, that you can do in here. One is you can establish connection strings. Um, and in this particular case, I have it notice, notice that I have a local SQL server. It knows what that is and already defines it for me. Um, I can create a connection string, and I'll call this uh, my SQL server connection. And in this particular case, I'm going to leave it um, as is, which happens to be the SQL client. Again, I apologize to bring this back down for you and we'll bring this over give you a little more room it is my SQL client I'm going to double click gives me a cool box here which I can come in here and I can select my server name that I want and it's going in and exercising um, Cam Studio is taking up some resource here I have a number of projects that are open so it's taking a minute to load these this particular box up notice that I'm using Windows authentication you can use SQL Server authentication if you like. Um, so we'll come along here. The name of my server is MM Laptop. Um, I'm going to select database, which in this case happens to be my MatDB. And we'll come along here and I'm going to click OK. Here's the connection string. Pretty cool, huh? It just build it for you and you can test your connection right within. Your connection succeeded. Okay, so we're going to click OK here. And so for right now, we now have a connection string that's written out and saved. It happens to be called MySQL Server Connection and will allow, and also has uh, all the information you need to connect and we just tested it. Um, another method is to actually add a SQL setting and actually you need this to refer back to your connection string. So if I come in here, I want to call this MySQL server um, versus server one. Uh, you don't have to change it, you can keep it that way. And if you come into here, um, this can contain a number of different things. One of them is an ODBC connection. Um, another is a reference back to your connection string. In this particular case, since um, we're going to go ahead and we'll use the connection string that we just identified. So if you click here, click your down arrow, um, you'll notice that it says MySQL Server Connection. And 
that relates back to our item right up here. Um, again, I'm using Windows authentication, so I don't need the SQL um, user ID and password. And I'm going to go ahead and press Enter. Okay, so right now we now have a connection pointing from here to my SQL Server connection. And if we go back, if we click Save, I'll click File, Exit. Remember the app config that we deleted before? It's back. The system automatically rebuilds it, and you'll notice that you have all your information in it. You have your SQL Server information here for your connection string. You have your scope generated, and you have your references, MySQL Server um, to MySQL Server connection. Notice this, it says ADO net. Um, you want to be real careful with that. You have two different options, um, ODBC and ADO net, and I'll show you a uh, very common mistake that people make shortly. Uh, and so this is just part one of your different ways to be able to connect. And again, you have your connection string. Um, here's your default information. That'll relate back to our COBOL program here in a minute. So if now I have default information pointing back to my SQL Server string, and continuing on, here's my main program. Here's my declare, and you'll notice the default. There is a way to change this to point to your settings um, that you have directly inside your app.config file. But the app.config is very powerful, and um, as in the Spider-Man movie, with great power comes great responsibility. So we'll click Save here, we'll do our build, and we'll go ahead and execute our run. I'll pull this back down and you'll notice that it said connect OK, 000, connect test complete, press any key to continue. And so this is part one of a couple of different tutorials, but this is part one of showing how to use a connection string within your app.config file and your COBOL runtime environment setup utility. Um, on part two will be coming up shortly. Thanks and have a great day.